Dawn. I'm Devon. I'm Christy. I'm Elizabeth. I'm Brina. I'm Jasmine. I'm Treasure. In today's world, consumers want to know they're getting the most out of their money and their experience. That is why we use the rating system. Let's just take a look at a few of our options. The first rating system that we're going to be going over is the GAT. The GAT is a restaurant rating system. It reviews restaurants based on a one to five star scale and four categories. The four categories include food, service, decor, and price. So Sagat was started in the 1980s by a New York couple that had been hearing complaints from their friends about how newspaper restaurant critics were not as fair because um, obviously they have a much more refined taste than the average New Yorker. So this couple decided to start putting out surveys for people and at the end of the 80s they put out a published book which included over 100 New York restaurants that were reviewed by about 200 critics um, that were just on the street and just dining at everyday restaurants. Currently right now Zagat has a website and an app. Um, it does not have any paperback published books currently. In 2011, Google purchased Zagat from the couple that originally started Zagat and they decided to rebrand everything, which unfortunately caused the downfall of Zagat. Zagat used to be a widely known rating system, but ever since Yelp and TripAdvisor came along, Zagat has been on the decline, but sites such as Yelp and TripAdvisor do generate more traffic. Currently, Zagat is in works of publishing a new 2020 paperback edition of New York restaurants. Hello, I'm Devon, and I'm going to be talking to you about the Michelin rating system today. So the Michelin rating system has been around for more than 100 years. It was initially invented by Andre and Ed L. Edward Michelin as a guide to increase the need for automobiles and in turn the need for tires to improve business for Michelin. When it first came about, the guide was a list of restaurants, hotels, uh, maps, mechanics, and instructions on how to change tires. Over the course of time, the guide began to shift the focus only on hotels and restaurants, mainly restaurants. Um, they have never published any ex expectations or guidelines to attain a star, um, and they are only available in select countries. One of the most unique features about the Michelin rating system, the one that makes it stand out, is unlike the five-star system of most rating systems, it only goes up to three stars. Um, the one star means that the restaurant is very good in this category and worth stopping at, but only if it's on the way to another destination. It's not meant to be the focus of the trip. The two star means this restaurant is uh, it's worth a detour from your journey. If it's on your way or you're in the area, it means it's recommended that you go. The three star means it's worth a journey by itself. The restaurant or hotel is worth um, a trip solely based around just that. Michelin stars mean for business. According to an article from ChicagoBusiness.com, the um, rating system can increase business by up to 40% with a two-star rating. With a three-star rating, it has been known to double the amount of business received by a hotel or restaurant. Losing a star can also have tremendous effects as it has been reported that restaurants, uh, five-star restaurants in Paris have lost up to $300,000 from losing just one Michelin star. System I'm going to introduce is Yelp. First, let's talk about its name, Hi Eco Yelp. Hi Eco Yelp. Um, it was said that because it is familiar with the help, which means it can help you to find the service you want near you, and it also because it was short, memorable, and easy to spell. And Yelp was found in San Francisco in 2004, and it was introduced to Europe in 2009 and Asia in 2012. And Yelp is an email-based system initially, but it, because its working system is too complicated, so it was rejected by the investors and it didn't attract the customers. And the Yelp has some basic functions like deliver food or you can watch the reviews just like other apps can do that and it has some unique features like it contains various types of local business including restaurants, dentists, car wash, make reservation on the app 
I think it's a useful function because it can save your time. And another unique feature is you can search events near you. If you feel bored, you can go to that events. And another interesting is each the reviews on Yelp is con contains more details because it prefer you to write more. You can't just write that the restaurant is great or the restaurant is awful. You you need to write more specific things and it also limit the new users to write reviews. And Yelp is also a social networking site. You everyone can communicate with each other on that. And then I will talk about some controversy on the Yelp. First is it has some complicated re relationship with small business because someone said that uh, because some people said that uh, Yelp both, both manipulates and blocks reviews to let other business to advertise them. If you don't advertise them, they will block your reviews for that. For if for the good re good reviews on your restaurants, and another is the privacy of reviewers. Some uh, if you if you write a bad review on s for some restaurant, you may not want other to know your name or and but you can't hide your name on Yelp and the only solution is just change your name and for me it doesn't matter that you show your name because you write a bad reviews. I'll be talking about the background of TripAdvisor. TripAdvisor was found by Stephen Koff, Langley Steiner, Nick Shaney and Thomas Paca in February 2000. The company was purchased by I IAC, which is known as Interactive Corp in 2004. Advisor launched its official site in China in uh, April 2009. Travelers across the globe use TripAdvisor site and app to browse more than 330 million reviews and opinions of 8.6 million accommodations, restaurants, and experiment airlines and also cruises. TripAdvisor is now available in 49 markets and 28 languages. The average number of use contrib contributions to a TripAdvisor per minute is 270. The purpose of TripAdvisor is to give impartial, honest, and true review to your personal stay somewhere. There are 1.2 million hotels, 4.9 million restaurants, and 160 million traveler photos on TripAdvisor. This app has been downloaded 350 million times. TripAdvisor's rating system consists of four main points, quality, recency, quantity, and consistency. The quality is just where a guest ranks the quality of the experience. Recency, keep in mind the recent reviews are far, far more powerful than the older ones. Quantity. Multiple reviews must follow a pattern during a certain period of time, and consistency, consistency is where everything comes together. The rating system also consists of four different bubbles. One bubble meaning it's terrible, two bubbles meaning it's poor, three meaning it's average, four meaning it's good, and five meaning it is excellent. To go out and write a review, we must follow a few simple steps. To begin, we must rate with bubbles the overall property. Below that, we will be asked to title our review and also write our review. We are also asked what type of trip we took, when do we travel. It also asks about the style and amenities. Okay, keep in mind that this is a bubble rating. Therefore, they will be asking about the service, the room, and the cleanliness of the hotel overall. Hi, today I'll be talking about the evolution of Mobile Travel Guide. Mobile Travel Guide was founded in 1957 by ExxonMobil. ExxonMobil actually sent its staff to review hospitality businesses such as hotels, restaurants, and spas for its guidebooks called Mobile Travel Guides. The rating system consisted of one through five stars. 
In October 2009, ExxonMobil licensed the brand to Five Stars Rating Corporation. Eventually, they partnered with Forbes Media and they established and rebranded Mobile Stars as Forbes Travel Guide. Forbes actually stopped publishing the guide in 2011 and now it's found entirely online. And now to Forbes. Let's talk about Forbes. After the transition from mobile to Forbes, Forbes made some changes with their rating system as well. They were still using a five-star system, but now they included a 900-point criteria. This is an objective criteria where those conducting the ratings go in anonymously and rate the hotel after staying for one or two nights. One interesting point about Forbes is that our local Houstonian hotel has actually been awarded four stars, which means that it is an excellent place to stay. Now, does Forbes drive business? Yes. The Archer Hotel in Austin formed its social media shortly after being awarded by Forbes as the most Instagrammable place, or one of the most Instagrammable places in Austin. It, within that month, they had thousands of followers. So people truly do pay attention to what Forbes has to say about the hotel industry. Well, we hope you've enjoyed learning about the different types of rating systems. After we learned about them, we all agreed that the best one is Forbes. Forbes. We think that Forbes is the best because it is global. They're in so many different places, and also they use an objective rating criteria instead of just emotional responses. But most importantly, Forbes is the best because it's relevant. People actually know what it is and will look to it when they're deciding whether or not they're going to stay in a place or eat in a food establishment. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you for your time.